Good morning, guys. Today is Tuesday, day 27 on our hatching calendar. And if we were following our hatching calendars, tomorrow would be the day we'd start looking at hatching. But we were doing something right because our duckies started early. So let me fill you in on what's happened over the past day if you haven't caught up with us yet. So we have a little ducky that just hatched. This is Pikachu. If you listen, I hope my camera can pick it up, but you can hear little tiny squeaks. He's quite squished in there too. But he's gonna stay in there till he dries off and gets super fluffy. And he's gonna mess with all his brothers and sisters and try to help them to hatch too. So we want him to be squished in there to help his friends. But there's Pikachu, he hatched tonight. So that was last night when Pikachu hatched. Um, basically Pikachu started pipping. He made his first little pip in the egg on Sunday at about 3 p.m. And then it was a whole day later that we saw him really start to hatch. Last night about 6.30 p.m. And then it was about an hour it took him to actually hatch out of that egg once he really got going. And I videoed it, so let me show you what his hatch was. I'm gonna speed it up a bit so you don't have to watch for a full hour, but let me show you Pikachu hatching. There's Pikachu. And you can see where he kind of started sticking his beak out. I'll put a little red circle on it for you. It's kind of where he made his first big hole. And what we want to see is Pikachu's gonna keep poking those holes and turning his body in this direction. And so he's gonna keep pushing and turning and pushing, or pecking I guess is more like it, pecking and turning and pecking and turning as he unzips his shell. So we're gonna watch this, this is 10 times the speed right now. So we're gonna watch this and uh, I'll get to the good part in a little bit, but let's watch him work as he pushes and turns. So do you see how he's unzipped his shell? And he's still going around, right? Look at that big crack. So once he kind of gets it pretty unzipped, he's gonna start really stretching his body and trying to push that bottom part off. And that's when we really start cheering him on and trying to encourage him to push, push, push. Okay, he's starting to push that shell open now. So I'm gonna put it back into normal speed and we can watch him actually push that shell off and get out of that egg.
So that was a good push. He is almost out. Come on, little duck. Just a little bit more. Are you cheering along with him right now? Ah, oh, there's a little foot. And there he's out. Look, there's his head. You can see his little beak. He's still gonna push and squirm and try to shove that egg off of his body, but our duck is out. How incredible. Hello, Pikachu, and welcome to the world. Wow. So this whole process still took about an hour, everything I just showed you. I have sped it up, and then even this part here that we just watched in normal speed, um, I, look at him wiggling there. I still cut out a lot of the parts where he was so tired he just slept and waited for a bit and then he kept doing some more. So it's not an easy process for a duck, is it? But he did so good. We'll spend a little bit more time watching Pikachu here and then I'll give you an update on the ducks today. So here's our little Pikachu this morning. I took this this morning on Tuesday and he's a tired little ducky. Let's check in on our other duck. So there's number six, Flappy I think is this one. Now we can see he's still got that little pip but I don't see, uh, I tried to talk to him here and I don't see any movement yet. Maybe they're all sleeping though. I'll check back on him in a little bit. So here's Pom Pom. She's still got those little, the pip and the starting to unzip. I think they're all sleeping though because I don't see any movement right now. Egg number two is Pinky. I haven't even seen a pip on this one yet. But if our hatching day is not till tomorrow, I think that's okay still. And then this is Ducker, I believe. And you can see he's got the pip and the starting to unzip as well. And then, these ones are hard to see with all the humidity in there. There's Flappy. I'm not sure if that kind of um, dark line is kind of where his crack is. It just got a little bit dirty or if it's somewhere else. But I know we saw a little pip on him yesterday. And there's our little Pikachu sleeping on the eggs. You can see his broken eggshell in there as well. So our ducks are just getting bigger. They're working on hatching. We got to see Pikachu hatch, and there's still a lot of other ducks that have pips in their shells. So what are you going to write and draw in your field hatching journal today? In your duck hatching journal, I mean. What are you gonna draw in there today? When you're done, take a picture, and don't forget to send it to us on Seesaw, and I'll put in the description how you can tune in still and watch our incubator from home. All right, guys, I will check in with you throughout the day if anything else exciting happens. Talk to you later.